EV maker, this time in China, the world's top auto market is now going out of business. 90% of the manufacturers may face insolvency. China is the biggest car market in the world, and the narrative is that they are on track to completely dominate the EV industry. But in reality, it is far from the truth. EV companies are going bankrupt daily, with over 400 companies falling into liquidation already. Thousands of electric cars are abandoned in fields across the country as the wheels literally fall off the Chinese EV industry. Join us as we take a closer look at the largest EV market in the world and reveal why 90% of Chinese EV makers are going bankrupt. China is one of the early adopters of the EV trend. And this was evident in 2018 when the Wall Street Journal reported that there were as many as 487 EV makers operating in China at that time. This remarkable figure can be attributed to the clear message sent by the national government, indicating its strong desire for China to lead the world in electric vehicle technology. Also, the local governments eagerly embraced this opportunity and have actively invested in these small companies. In 2010, China's strategic vision identified new energy vehicles, NEVs, as one of the pivotal sectors that fall under what they called the umbrella of strategic emerging industries. The Chinese government recognized the potential of NEVs, which contain pure electric hybrid, plug-in hybrid, and fuel cell electric vehicles. Over time, however, the focus of support has gravitated towards fully electric cars only. To demonstrate its support, the Chinese government implemented a range of measures, including generous subsidies, tax breaks, procurement contracts, and other policy incentives. And because of this, a host of homegrown EV brands emerged and diligently worked on refining new technologies to cater to the practical needs of Chinese consumers. This effort also helped to provide a substantial cohort of young car buyers who are increasingly drawn to electric vehicles. The Chinese government has been taking steps to invest in EV-related technologies since as far back as 2001. EV technology was quickly seen as a priority science research project in China's five-year plan, which serves as the country's highest-level economic blueprint. In 2007, the EV industry received a significant boost when Wan Gang assumed the role of China's Minister of Science and Technology. Wan, an accomplished automotive engineer who had spent a decade working for Audi in Germany, had already developed a strong affinity for EVs. Notably, he personally tested Tesla's inaugural EV model, the Roadster, in 2008, shortly after its release. Today, many credit Wan with the important decision to wholeheartedly embrace electric vehicles at a national level. Now, while these 487 companies started out great, only one of them is profitable today. And recent statistics reveal that only 40 of them are still operational today. That means 447 of them have gone bankrupt. Out of the 40 companies still operational, only BYD is currently making money from EV sales. That's not to say that the other won't make it. We all know how incredibly difficult it is to make money from EV sales. Presently, Tesla and BYD are the notable exceptions, being the sole companies that have managed to achieve profitability from EV sales. However, when comparing the operating profit margins of these Chinese companies to Tesla, there is a substantial gap ranging from 14 to 74 percentage points. Despite BYD's remarkable sales growth, the company continues to grapple with modest profit margins, significantly lagging behind Tesla. Between 2019 and 2022, BYD's gross profit margins for the third quarter fluctuated at 16.3%, 19.4%, 13.0% and 15.9% respectively, while its net profit margins varied at 1.7%, 3.8%, 1.8%, and 3.7%. In contrast, Tesla's gross profit margins for the same period stood at 16.6%, 21.0%, 25.3%, and 26.4%, while its net profit margins were negative 3.15%, 2.7%, 10.5% and 15.3%. From these numbers, it is obvious that BYD still has a long way to go. In terms of cash flow, the difference between these Chinese companies and Tesla is substantial and is as much as 16 to 20 billion US dollars. Many of these Chinese companies have faced substantial disruptions in their capital chains. Particularly this year, several emerging car manufacturers operating in the second, third, and fourth tiers 
such as iWays, Leapmotor, Weltmeister, Skywell, Hoson, SciTech, and Future Mobility have faced significant challenges in sustaining their operations and navigating the competitive market landscape. A critical factor contributing to these difficulties is the lack of capital. After successfully establishing production bases and getting vehicle manufacturing qualifications, many of these companies find themselves constrained by insufficient funds to help product development and expansion. A lack of capital can hinder the ability of a company to maintain high product quality standards and competitiveness in the market, and this will result in decreased sales and increased financial losses. Iways, Weltmeister, and SciTech, among other companies, have been faced with poor sales because of issues surrounding product quality and competitiveness. These problems have significantly affected their financial performance, leading to losses and putting their long-term sustainability in jeopardy. SciTech did manage to raise $500 million in Series A funding in 2021, but these capital injections may not be enough especially because of how fiercely competitive and capital-intensive the electric vehicle industry is today. Also, the transition from manufacturing small electric vehicles to high-end electric vehicles can be another significant challenge for small companies within the Chinese EV industry. This transition often requires a substantial capital investment to develop advanced technologies, upscale production capabilities, and establish a brand presence in the high-end market segment. Some of these companies tried to do this, but the sales performance of the newly introduced high-end models fell short of expectations, and it caused them massive financial losses. Leap Motor and Skywell Auto as examples of companies that had this problem. Despite their plan to get a larger market share by targeting the high-end segment, the sales performance of their high-end electric vehicles did not meet the expected levels. Another challenge faced by certain companies within the Chinese EV industry is limited vehicle deliveries. Hoson Auto, for instance, has experienced difficulties in delivering its vehicles to customers, with only 900 units being successfully delivered so far. In an EV market where monthly delivery volumes often reach tens of thousands, such low delivery figures can undermine consumer confidence in the company's ability to meet customer demand effectively. This can lead to a diminished market presence, reduced brand reputation, and difficulties in attracting new customers. Limited vehicle deliveries can be caused by various factors, including production constraints, supply chain issues, and logistical challenges. Inadequate production capacities, bottlenecks in the manufacturing process, or insufficient distribution networks can all contribute to the limited delivery capacity. Also, traditional car manufacturers in China, including Great Wall Motors, Geely Auto, and GAC Group, have been witnessing significant growth in their new energy vehicle sales. This development not only reflects the shifting consumer preferences towards electric vehicles, but also adds further pressure to the emerging companies operating in the Chinese EV market. Now, despite the challenges faced by some Chinese EV automakers, the overall growth trajectory of the Chinese automotive industry is expected to remain robust in the coming years. Several factors contribute to this positive outlook, including strong domestic demand, technological advancements, and an expanding global market share. China's vast domestic market with a large population and increasing disposable income continue to drive the demand for vehicles. As consumers become more environmentally conscious and seek sustainable transportation options, the demand for new energy vehicles, including electric vehicles, is expected to experience significant growth. China's commitment to research and development is expected to have a significant impact on the automotive industry, including electric vehicles and autonomous driving technologies. With a projected R&D spending of 2.8% of its GDP by 2025, a substantial portion of this investment will likely be directed toward advancements in the automotive sector. This increased focus on R&D will contribute to the development of cutting-edge technologies, further solidifying China's position as a global leader in electric vehicles and autonomous driving. In the Middle East, Chinese automakers are strategically positioning themselves to expand their presence and increase their market share. The region's automotive market is projected to experience a compound annual growth rate of 5.2% between 2021 and 2026, according to the latest automotive report. This growth provides ample opportunities for Chinese car manufacturers to enhance their sales and influence in the Middle East. As the Middle East embraces the transition to electric vehicles and renewable energy, Chinese automakers with expertise in EV technology stand to benefit significantly. 
With their experience in manufacturing electric vehicles and advancements in battery technology, Chinese automakers are well positioned to cater to the evolving preferences of Middle Eastern consumers. What do you think about this news? Let us know down in the comments section.